So I want to, good morning, delegates, guests, friends. I want to take a moment of, um, I guess you would call it executive privilege. I want to share with you a, a moment of inspiration that I had this morning. Um, I had a member come up to me. I've known this member for uh, many years. She informed me that this is her last convention. Uh, she's been a member for 37 years in the Bethel School District. And it was an emotional conversation because she was um, explaining how much her job meant to her. And I asked her, well, did you do it for the money? I, I know the answer. And um, she said, obviously not. She said, I love my kids. 37 years later, uh, a lot of those kids remember her. She started out in what was called back then the special education department, family life skills, teaching young women how to shower. And I want to just acknowledge Linda Kendrick from the Bethel School District. If you would stand and let's give a round of applause for 37 years. <laughs> There's not a, a better example of why we do uh, what we do than Linda. And I personally want to thank you from um, this podium today. So now back to the speech. Uh, I want to start this morning after that with a short video that introduces PSE in a new way. We are growing as a union due to the hard work that we put in over many years and the ambitious goals that we've set. Over the next few years, Many education employees, K through 12, and higher education, they're going to be introduced to PSE for the very first time. We want that to, we want to make that a, a positive experience. So let's take a look and let's hope technology works. How do you cultivate a healthy economy? It begins with a strong root system, which means giving workers a voice and protecting their families and their futures within local employers and government. We act on their behalf by educating elected officials of the impact of their decisions on workers and our communities. We advocate for workers through fair contract campaigns, collective bargaining, and training. We keep members and workers educated by creating opportunities where they can connect, learn, and grow their voice in the workplace. By listening to workers' needs, we can be the solution at the bargaining table and keep the soil clear of weeds by tackling issues that negatively impact their way of life. We do this to strengthen and protect workers so they can do their jobs with fairness and sustainability. This yields high quality workers, jobs and investments for generations to come, as well as a healthy economy. We are PSE SEIU, Local 1948, your union today. I want to thank our communications department for that. I think that's an outstanding video. Um, so, you know, I was thinking this morning and realized as your former president and now your executive director, over the last decade I've had the opportunity to, to speak to you from this podium and share information with you about um, our organization and where I believe we need to go in the future. It has been a privilege and an honor, um, one that I enjoy more year after year. Because we've been through a lot over the, over the years. We've weathered some storms, we've celebrated some victories, we've gained a solid reputation for doing what's right and doing, always doing the right thing. As an organization, we have never been so committed to our vision and we are stronger today than we have ever been. Unfortunately, as individuals, I know that many of you are, are still not doing so great. Due to, due to the Great Recession, some of you have seen your hours, your income decrease while your workloads and the cost of living increase at a rate that far exceeds movement in your wages. You know, and going back to, to, to Linda, um, it's interesting that she came forward and talked to me today because I've been thinking a lot about the, the role that, that our members have in shaping the lives of so many people. 
and how it's, it's, it's a shame that you have to suffer and work from paycheck to paycheck. As a former school employee and dues paying member for nearly 20 years, I know what it's like to be a classified school employee. I can relate to the challenges that are facing you. I know what it's like to go to work on a Wednesday morning having $10 in the bank, knowing that payday isn't until Friday. And you're hoping on the way home that the cereal is on sale. And you're trying to figure out how many boxes of macaroni and cheese you're going to need to feed your kids till Friday. Nobody should have to live with the stress and anxiety of that situation. Our members do not expect to get rich doing their jobs, but I honor your willingness to sacrifice for the betterment of the education of our state's children. Education is a noble profession, and it often requires sacrifice. Yet ask yourself this question. For every one of you out there willing to make that sacrifice for yourself, how many of your children, and in many cases your own grandchildren, are also forced to sacrifice when your wages and benefits, benefits aren't what they should be? You accept that sacrifice because for the most part you love what you do. But it is unacceptable that your children and grandchildren must suffer also. Why should your family go without when the resources are there to pay you a decent wage? and provide you and your family with affordable health insurance. There was a time when having one job was enough to support a family and workers earned a fair and livable paycheck. I still believe in that ideal, what we used to call the American dream. I think the American dream is still possible, and I hope that you do too. I'm going to ask you to imagine, you know, people do this all the time. Imagine with me. Well, I, I don't want you to just hear what I'm saying. I want you to truly imagine what I'm about to say. I want you to imagine going home every night knowing that everyone you work with and everyone in your neighborhood can afford to feed their families and can be home at night to help children with their homework. Imagine your neighbors could afford a safe home. Imagine also that senior citizens were taken care of with access to affordable health care and retirement benefits. What if we all said, we deserve to work only one job? What if we said, we all deserve a livable wage? What if we all said, everyone can have access to affordable health care? Wouldn't it be amazing to live in a world like that? The reality is that we don't live in that world yet. The good news is that together we are fighting to make these changes happen. Together we can make it happen. This is what belonging to a union is all about, where workers have the ability and the power to make positive changes in our workplaces and in our communities. Everyone in this room has that power. Now, I'm going to be honest, and I have to say, I, I wasn't always what you would call a union guy. I was skeptical. I had my doubts. It took me a while to come around to understand why belonging to a union in the Eastmont School District Maintenance Department made a difference. Fortunately for me, I had passionate leaders around me who who shared their vision of why the union was so important. And to, today, that responsibility of leading the next generation of union members, it falls to me. And that responsibility also falls on you. As the executive director of the largest classified union in the state of Washington, you can, you can imagine how often I get asked about our, our mission and our vision. Our mission to secure the rights, recognition, and respect for educational support professionals. Now, to be honest, it, it's the most powerful statement that I can make about who we are. Over the years, as we have changed, 
Our statement has changed, its meaning has changed, and its importance. It is no longer enough for us to continue to advocate just at the bargaining table or to have our voice heard in Olympia. Today, we have to change perceptions. We have to educate ourselves and our communities. We have to grow if we are to achieve America's dream. It's more than a dream. This is what we deserve. This is what union members all across Washington State and across the United States are fighting for. I challenge you to move with purpose within this union and ground your energy so that we can pass our legacy to generations to come. Along with your PSC Board of Directors, many of you set priorities through our three-year strategic goals. We first brought these forward last year. I want to give you an update. Because these goals are the foundation, they're the road work for us for the next 67 years. I want to bring your attention to the, the goals dashboard. Uh, a note here that th this dashboard, it's, it's interactive. It will be going live in September, so every member will have access to this real time to track where our goals, where we, we are at with our goals. It's something that we're, we're looking forward to. So the first goal is advocate, and I'm just going to highlight just a couple of things. The goal of advocate is to empower members in the workplace to create a greater quality of life and increase political power. Some of the highlights this year, we made over 3,000 calls to generated to preserve the classified health insurance factor. 3,000 calls. Doug Nelson in his GR report will cover this tomorrow. For, for some of you that may not know what this is, but what it was, the legis legislators wanted to take away $53 million in insurance benefits to classified school employees. Did anybody in this room make one of those calls? Okay, I want the rest of you to thank these members because if you do the math, <laughs> if you do the math, my math anyway, $53 million, 3,000 phone calls. Each phone call was worth $17,000. Think of it that way the next time we ask people to make a phone call. They saved $53 million of your benefits. Our COPE, built in our political power, we had an increase of 12%. I know many of you, many of you signed COPE cards yesterday. Thank you. We had a speak out to pre preserve our higher ed contracts. The goal of education and training, the PSE's commitment to strengthen our union today and develop leaders for tomorrow. Many of you remember the Leadership Academy. Well, it's back, only it's new and improved. It is, <laughs> it is called TEAM. Uh, together, everyone achieves more. We're creating a sustainable education and training program, which is a multiple year program the first year started out five locations throughout the state. It was open to all members. We also have a member program, and this, this program provides current leaders with in-depth professional development opportunities to further their knowledge in the art of contract negotiations. The trainings that we have now are refreshed, they're relevant, and they're for today's leaders. We also have a full workshop library on our website. You need to check that out. The goal of growth. PSE is committed to creating an organizing culture and grow our union's capacity. A few highlights from this year. We have three new chapters. Over 2,000 new members through job growth creation. And this is the big one to me. We have, we, we have 26 new member organizers trained. Those are members that can go out we can call them, they're the, the SWAT team, they're the, the elite members that if we need somebody to go out and help us with a, an organizing campaign, they're ready to go. 26 this year. <laughs> the goal of perception. We are committed to increase community awareness of the value that we offer to education. We did the, the who and what we do video. We had statewide radio ads. We did focus groups and member research. The goal of voice. A PSE is committed to actively listening and sharing members' voices. 
the monthly newsletter, The Voice, it's back. We did telephone town hall. We, we were connecting members statewide. Online advocacy, an increase of 330%. That's a big deal. That's, that's your, your web page, your Facebook, Twitter, all 330% increase. We did an annual member survey with over 1,500 members participated in a two-way communication. Those are our goals. I think we're doing really well. We, as you can see, we're operating at like 100 miles an hour in order to protect the rights of working families, the rights to have a union, and obtain livable wages. I'm asking you to challenge yourselves to do your part to make this world a better place through your work with PSE. I believe our work in this together will leave this world a better place for future generations. Isn't that why we do what we do? That's why you work in our public schools and universities. It starts with making a better present for everyone, ourselves included. We're laying the groundwork for everything there is to come. If we don't fight for our rights and the rights of every working family, how can we expect to make our dream a reality for future generations? Let's do this together. Let's hit the gas, raise our voices, and fight for the future. Thank you.